Lost Word of Jenny, Tokyo Tower, 2021, directed by Hitoshi Oni and Kazuya Shirashi, is an upcoming Japanese romance comedy film, was released on April 9, 2021. Japanese illustrator, Lily Frankie as Jerry the Magical Hat, is a role as similar to Barbie which has a cameo appearance. Also people search such as Hiroki Hasegata, Katero Yashida, Natsuki Gowomura, Erifukatsu, Joe Dajiri, Pierre Taki, Ilaiza Ikeda, Hayako Achida, Masaharu Fukuyama, Masami Nagasada, Suzuki Matsuo, and Sasuke Kamatsu, also featuring actors such as Milonina, Kafka Shishido, Naomi Samusuka, Kanichi Endo, Tamara Otagachi, Tokyo Himato, Maya Mahori, a girl group called Najizuka 46, George Takoro, Tetsu Watanabe, Tetsuji Tamayama, Goto Utero and Jun Murakami. The Barbie doll failed in its introduction to Japan in the 1960s, but the longtime American favorite has been a hot item in the question mark 80s. And that success has produced a bitter legal battle between Japan's two biggest toy makers, which are in court trading charges of unfair competition and breach of faith. Takaro Limited, Japan's number two toy manufacturer, is suing a joint venture between Mattel, Barbie's American maker, and the Japanese toy maker Bandai Company Limited. Takaro had sold Barbie dolls, altered to Japanese children's taste under license from Mattel from 1982. But Mattel abruptly terminated that agreement in January, because it felt Takara was not trying hard enough to sell other Mattel toys, and was leaking Mattel secrets to another American toy maker. Now Takara claims Mattel and arch-rival Bandai cloned their new Barbie doll from the Barbie that Takara spent 19 months and 100 million yen, about $590,000 developing. Bandai, Japan's top toy maker, began marketing the Barbie last month through the joint venture, Amabia Corporation. Question mark it has exactly the same thing as our old Barbie, so we sued under the unfair competition prevention law, says spokesman Shusaku Boda of Takara, which changed the name from Barbie to Jenny. Not so, says Fred Tang, managing director for Mattel Asia Limited. We promised Takara to make a different doll. And we did. He said in an interview. Question mark. If you ask a young girl, if they read different she LLC yes. If you ask her, if they read similar she LLC yes. There is a kind of similarity, to arms, to legs. After unsuccessful attempts by Mattel in Japan in the 1960s to market its American Barbie, of which one million a week now are sold worldwide, Takara developed a Barbie that appealed to Japanese children, with a rounder face, huge eyes and small lips. Takara sold 5.6 billion yen, about 33 million dollars, worth of Barbie dolls last year out of 51 billion yen, or 300 million dollars, in sales, paying Mattel about 300 million yen, or 1.8 million dollars, in royalties. Kubota says. Takara sold six million of the dolls. Things turned sour with Takara's 1984 tube with Hasbro, the top U.S. toy maker, to market the successful Transformer robot toy series in the United States. Mattel worried that Takara could leak Mattel secrets to Hasbro, its chief rival. Mattel approached Takara several times from 1983 to 85 to form a joint venture company to sell Barbies but each time Takara refused. Tang said Takara probably cared less about the 4.5 billion yen $26 million worth of Barbies it sold in 1984 than the 20. Tang, calling the suit a lot of nonsense, notes that the new Barbie is one centimeter taller and twists and bends at the waist. Miyuki Ishii, a toy sales clerk at Ginza Matsuzaka department store, said, I can't he tell the difference. Jenny seems to be selling better, but not many people seem to know there is a new Barbie. Takara and Mattel also are sparring over the dolls. Ad campaigns. Question mark we especially object to the ad. Barbie has come back from America. Question mark. Kubota says. 
Question mark. They make it sound as if our Barbie wasn't he the real one. Takara Barbie differs from a Western Barbie. Takara Barbie was altered to better appeal to Japanese preferences, with a shorter height, large rounded manga style eyes and a closed mouth. The doll's physical figure is more natural than the Western Barbie's exaggerated figure. Like her Western counterpart, Jenny wears a large variety of outfits, which often include street fashion, school uniforms, kimono, and other uniquely Japanese costumes, such as bullet train stewardess Jenny. Today the Jenny doll is a sentimental favorite doll in Japan, but she is much less popular than Lika-chan, Japan's market leader fashion doll. Prior to 1986, the doll was known as Takara Barbie. In 1986 Takara ended their licensing agreement with Mattel, and, as they owned the rights over the Takara Barbie's design, came up with a new name for the doll. The explanation given for the name change was that Jenny was the name of a character Barbie portrayed in a play, also titled Jenny. The play was a success and Barbie had become so associated with her character's name that she decided to change it to Jenny. Jenny's boyfriend was renamed from Takara Ken to Jeff. Jenny is a 10-inch fashion doll produced by Japanese toy company now known as Takara Tommy since 1982. The doll was known as Takara Barbie, and in 1986 the doll was renamed Jenny, after Takara ended their licensing agreement with Mattel. Jenny's fashion theme is cool. LA's fashion is based on a fashion style. To present the Soul Train Music Award for R&B Album of the Year by a male, here are Sinbad, Brian McKnight, and John A. The nominees for the R&B Album of the Year by a male are... For the Cooler News, Baby Face. I'm ready, Tevin Campbell. The hit, the B-side, Prince. And never let me go, Luther Vandross. The Soul Train Music Award goes to... For the cool and you, baby face. Let me, first thing, first thing I want to say is, um, I don't believe it, first of all, but first thing I'd like to say, it's nice to know that a record like this at this point, in this time it seems kind of unpopular to do a, do a record that's, uh, that doesn't start with a five letter word, that starts with a B, talking about women. And <laughs> it's nice to know you don't have to say that these days. But I, um, first of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Tracy. I'd like to thank my mom. I'd like to thank uh, uh, my best friend, Daryl Simmons, and co-producer, co-producer L.A. Reed as well. Uh, the record company, uh, Sony Records. I'd like to thank my management, Ramon Hervey. But most of all, I'd like to thank all my fans, and thanks for being there for me. I love you all. The Earth Annual Soul Train Music Awards will continue with Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. ぱいよ。<笑> 
それは大人を旅する不思議なエレベーター他人を理解すること分かりえないという前提で分かろうとするそこに愛がある気がするので大丈夫大人の生札幌生ビール黒ラベル河村夏樹です女優タレントです女優として初めてお仕事をした時にこのお仕事を一生やり続けたいなと思いましたリリーベルのコットンマスクって蒸れなくて本当にお気に入りなんですよいろんな役を演じて表現することの楽しさを知りました20年間習っていたクラシックバレエを通して基礎の大切さを学びましたそんなことよりもちょっとは恋なんぞだから表現者としてもっと努力してたくさんの人に笑顔を届けたいですコットンって絶対必要じゃないですか細かなとこまでしっかりケアができてたっぷり潤ってる自分の肌を見ると「明日もやってやるぞ」って。低温でじっくり抽出 UCC コールドブリューカオルドブリューいえコールドブリューカオルドブリューカオルドブリューですまあそれでいい